Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial 21. It's titled Using the Arrow Keys. I have the Flash CS5 program opened and I'm going to open a new document. I'm going to save the default Action Script 3. Call this layer Ball, B A L L. Go to your library panel to create a new symbol. Call it ball, B A L L underscore M C for movie clip. Make sure movie clip is selected. And close this panel. I'm going to make it a red ball. Pick up my oval tool. Hold my shift down. And I got a ball. Call it ball. B A L L. Go back to scene one. Lock this layer. Insert a new layer. Call it action script A S. Open your actions panel. And type in all this code. I'm typing. Type, 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 type. Type in all this code. This says stage, S T A G E, period, all small letters. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L. If you spell it right, it turns blue. Open bracket, keyboard event, capital K, small b, capital E. Again, if you spell it right, it turns blue, period. All capital letters, K-E-Y, underscore, capital D, capital O-W-N, and a comma. All this, except for this open bracket, is blue. There's a comma here, and I'm just calling this something. That's just a name. Call it anything you want, as long as this name here appears down here. Close bracket, semicolon. The second line is a function. The function is something, S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-G, capital S, capital T. There's an open bracket. It's an event, E-V-E-N-T, colon. It's a keyboard event, capital K, small b, capital E. This would be blue. Event would be blue, and function would be a purplish color. Open bracket, and possibly as soon as you type that in, you would get your closing bracket. Sometimes it does that for you. And inside of this we have four if statements. So let's just do this first one first. If, and if should be the same color as function, open bracket, event, E-V-E-N-T, period, key code, small k, capital C. This would be blue. Equal equals, that means we're comparing it to something. That means it's a comparison. Keyboard, capital K, small b, period, left, all capitals, capital L, capital E, capital F, capital T, and a closed bracket. So if this key is pushed down, the left key is pushed down, the left arrow we're talking about, we're going to do, we're going to do two things. We're going to trace, T-R-A-C-E, it should turn blue, open bracket, Quotations, left, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. We're going to make a trace statement. And that ball movie clip, we're going to move it to the left five pixels. B-A-L-L, -L, capital B, underscore M-C, period, X, minus equals five. Minus equals means subtract from the X value and a semicolon and a close bracket. Once you have that done, copy it, right click, copy it, paste it in in here, and all you need to do is change left to right, R-I-G-H-T, all capitals. In my trace statement, change the left to right, and in the ball movie clip X, change the minus to a plus. Then you can come down and paste it again. It's going to be keyboard up this time, the up arrow. We're going to trace up 
And if we're talking about up and down, we're talking about the y axis. So you'd have to change the x to a y and back to minus equals 5. And finally, paste it in a third time. Make this down, capital D, capital O, W, N. Put down in quotations. And when we go down on the y axis, y here, it would be plus equals 5. And a closed curly bracket for this, if. So you should have two closed curly brackets at the end. And do a little form, auto format and a check syntax. I see no errors, so it's probably going to be all right. And now let's back to the main timeline. I'm back on scene one, main timeline. And unlock this layer called ball. Select frame one. Open the library panel. Drag that ball movie clip, put it anywhere on the stage. Close the panel. Open the properties panel. And this instance name ball, we have to put up here. B-A-L-L -L underscore M-C. Otherwise, the script will not recognize it. And I think this should work. Control, test movie. I'm looking. I see no errors. I press the up arrow. It goes up and it traces up here. I go right and it traces right. I go down and I'm tracing down. I go left and I trace left. If you hit two buttons at once, the last one that's been hit is what takes over. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.